Hello ladies and gentlemen, Marauder X here back with Let's Play More Smurpig. <laughs> Smurpig. Uh, so we just finished Barrel Volcano, and which means we get to go back to Nimbus Land. Because, you know, we're, we're done. We, the only place we gotta go is, you know... We've actually gone past the land's end. Yeah. So, like, that's the end of the land. There's nowhere else to go. Yeah. Unless it's time to go to space. Space. Let's go space. Like, but, you know, Super Mario Galaxy's not for another ten years. Yeah, Super Mario Galaxy came a long time after this one. <laughs> if that's the case, Mario's been waiting a real long time to finish this damn game. So yeah, we go over here, and we're gonna talk to Mala's parents again, and be like, Hey! What, what now? We're, we're out of ideas. Yeah, we, we got the star. Usually we'd go see, you know, Mallow's other dad. Mallow's other dad, but I guess we'll try you first. Mallow is now the star of my two dads. <laughs> the Axum Rangers took it away from us, but we killed them. That's wonderful, son. <laughs> Murder's always fantastic. The star thing can be repaired. You're still missing a piece, I take it. Only place to look is Bowser's Keep. Even Mario can't jump that far. Bullshit. <laughs> Mario can jump as far as the eye can see. Or, you know, we could just get the, uh, Troopa Squad back in here. Yeah, why the hell... <sighs> there are so many ways for us to get over there, and like, oh no, let's... Let's rely on, you know, King Nimbus and his flying boss. I ordered the repairman to have it fixed by the time you leave. You simply have to help Mario. You have no choice. Alright, so now the, uh, the bus is fixed. Yeah. Actually, I just remembered, uh, there was one other thing that we could do before we do that back in Moleville. Moleville? The, uh, metal plate. The metal plate, yes, so back to Moleville. And then on the bus. And then on the bus, as we <laughs> fall again through the clouds. Never gets old. It never gets old. Is that the one I need yes. to do? Yeah, I like. The I, was gonna, I was gonna jump down, like, no, that just takes me to where I really don't want to go, because there's godforsaken, uh. vines. And Demolville! Alright, so, there's one thing here. We go into the shop, talk to the one non mole who lives here. A metal plate! I don't know what it's used for, but I'll sell it for 300 coins. And that metal plate is the best weapon for Peach. Frying pan. Yep. Which, even with the lazy shell, she still has an okay attack now. Yeah. Though, obviously, without the lazy shell, she'd have a much better attack. Yeah. Uh, do we want to buy more fireworks? Do we yeah, wanna... we could go and do that. Um, first, we need to get rid of our shiny stone, though. though. Well, we could just get the fireworks and have fireworks and shiny stone. But... We, we found out that if you have, if you buy more fireworks, you get a different thing at the end of the game, so, eh. Yeah. Well, total we need to buy five of them, and we'll get the rest later. Yeah, I, I'm gonna do that off screen because they're 500 a pop, so you can only really buy one at a time. Yeah. So... Alright, so we go back to Nimbus Land. And go back up to town. And we go over here! Talk to this portly fellow. And he tells us that the bus is, uh, operational. 
I heard the story from King Nimbus while you were going out buying a frying pan. <laughs> and here comes the boss. Which, I... Uh, what is this thing? It, 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 it's a very fat-ass Lakitu. It looks like a combination of, like, a fat Lakitu trying to merge with, like, a 1950s, you know, convertible. <laughs> and failing miserably at both. But Mario and Malo hop on. And we slowly drift. And we throw our hands in the air like we just don't care. <laughs> and we see that the world is round. Well, actually, the world's basically a big donut. So, everything else in the world doesn't exist. And hey, there's a group of people just kind of hanging out looking at Bowser's castle. Like you do. Yeah, that's a perfectly logical place for, you know, some toads and moles from the other side of the world to be. Yeah, we're just going to hang out here, you know, look at the giant scary sword sticking out of the castle. It's so nice to be home. Alright, that's all Bowser has to say about it. And this place... It's pretty much the same, so we've got these guys. I didn't mean to run into him, but you know, oh well. Does not matter. Terracottas. Once again, and that just basically... <laughs> and Geno Sweeps. No. I, was, I was hoping for... I mean, and the sad thing is, we've... We've leveled up Gino so much in terms of, of special attack that Gino Blast is really all that it, it's going to take to end this place. Like, that's that's really it. And here's the room where we, uh... We fought Bowser up top before. And now we've got green fat troopers. And you... Oh my god, you survived. That's actually impressive. It still says Heavy Trooper ready to launch instead of Tubba Trooper. Yeah, that's... And we get a Lucky. Not that it matters, because... We, we don't... I, I think we're maxed on money at the moment, and... No, we just spent about, like, oh, yeah, we, money. Yeah, we did, we did spend a whole bunch of it. And it's double the XP, so let's go ahead and double that. Oh. So nothing changes. Except now we get to go in through this creepy, scary door here. And there's more here. And bad guys. I love bad guys. There's so many bad guys, they're all just gonna die. I kinda like the green, goldish Goombas. Like, they just look like normal Goombas, but just kinda sickly. <laughs> yeah. Kind of like boogers, actually. <laughs> Alright, so we have, like, a dark section here that we get to wander around in. Yeah, kind of like the Bowser's Castle from Mario World. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, that's, a, that's an interesting throwback. And again, with, like, we've got six enemies on screen, and they just all die. Like, Gino makes this a joke at the moment. <laughs> Especially yeah. since he's got the, uh, the super suit. Bowser reaches level 20. Um... Does it really matter? <laughs> one HP. Yeah. Like, I can get one extra HP. Just get more power. Yeah, just powers the, the way we're going with that. And... We Something. Get... Not sure if that was a flower or a mushroom. I think it was a mushroom because it made the sky glow green for a second. And we've got... We've got things hiding, and I'm trying to avoid everything, but it's just not working. Gino's just going to make this a complete and total joke. Tubbo lives. Tell him we hit him with himself. <laughs> we just hit you with the carcass of one of your dead friends. How does that make you feel? And 
they he he just commits suicide. He he leapt to his death. Oh, and we've got a save point, and Kraka. Let's uh, let's actually save it, because that's you know actually a good idea. And we can Kraka, talk. To... We got your ring. Yeah, we we got your stuff, Kraka. And for some odd reason, he decides to sell stuff to us. So you know, we could sell. Like we can. Yeah, he just has the same stuff that uh, Pinopio did. So. Yeah. Fire no big stuff. Deal. We can stand on him. There's really nothing here other than saving. But this is the the, the big thing. We have six doors. Do you need an explanation? Their doors. You open them. We have to clear four of the six. And there are battle rooms, action rooms, puzzle rooms, and they're all dick in their own special way. Uh, pick a door. Any door. Let's go with door number four. Door number four. It's, it's a battle, battle room. room. <laughs> all right. So this is gonna take a while. So I'm actually gonna speed through a lot of this because it's it's long. So yeah, it's mostly stuff we've seen. Yeah. All right, so we finally finished with that room. It only took, you know, six minutes. And for our trouble, we get a star gun, which is a uh, weapon for Gino. Gino's best weapon, isn't it? Yes. Which is fitting because Gino just completely destroyed everything. Yeah, Gino destroyed that room with you know, special attacks. Yeah. Regular attacks, not so much so. Alright, so when you finish it, you get to come out here and you know, there's a big X over that one. Uh, I'm gonna use an item to recover some of our FP. We didn't still have a jar, did we? No. no. Okay. I've got honey syrup <laughs> and royal syrup. Uh, Tim. That's... That's useful. But you can also... Oh, I you thought can't. you could go back out and buy stuff from Kraka, but you can't. Oh well. Uh, pick a door. Any door. Number one. Door one. This is an action stage. And I'm already going to screw this up because I have, you know, crap for depth perception in these. But action stages are actually kind of entertaining because you get, again, ten tries and, and just make it through. That's really all there yeah. is to it. Just some old school Mario platforming, but in isometric. Which, you know, kind of sucks, but the, the fun thing about this one is once you get on one of these, that's where it'll start you off, so... Yeah. Puts you back the, to the last time you were on solid ground. And... I'm going to fail at this. Hard. Freaking core. Hard core! Son of a bitch, really? Come on, Mario. Well, I'm not getting any of the items here now. Over here we have another, another Caracola. Caracola. Room yeah. two. And we've got this gimmick of Alright, I don't need to pick me up. I really don't. Yeah. But we've got bombs, and we've got a door over here that we need to be on the... either on that platform or on the, the ball to get to. Yep. And... ran yep. into something I couldn't see. Perfect. Yep. Bombs are not fights. There are no... There is no fighting in the action groups. Bombs are just a pain in the ass. Because I, I'm, I'm going to fail this room, because I keep running into things. And this one, the ball is actually reversed controls. Yeah. And a max mushroom I don't need. And like that, they're just gonna... Well, they follow you, so you have to lead them away from the bomb, or from the cannonball. 
Well, they kind of follow you. Yeah. Most of the time, they're just ignorant. And... Flower. Flower. And then it gets even better. I've got three chances to make it through this, which I'm going to fail. Because I can't do that. And another flower. Probably should have looked up and saw what items are in these chests. Or is there anything in... There's nothing that's, like, really vital. It's some nice stuff like flowers, kiracolas, you know, that sort of thing, but not, like, an ultimate weapon. Okay, then I'm going to just ignore all of these things. I think the best thing there might be is a rock candy. Which, you know, would be somewhat useful, but... Not gonna worry about it, considering I've only got three chances left, and I'm pretty sure there's another... Uh, son of a bitch! I think this is the last room. Yeah. Oh, thank God. And we got a sonic symbol, which is... Mallow's best weapon. Mallow's best weapon. Not that we're using Malo at all. Alright, where are we at? Uh, we've, we've, let's do... I don't think we have enough time to do another room. Not quite. So yeah. So, hmm? so I guess we'll leave it off here then. Yeah, we'll leave it here because I don't quite think we... We'll... Yeah, yeah, no. So, uh... We'll see you guys in the next installment, where we will pick up another one of these rooms, and hopefully I won't fuck up as bad, because I'm going to fuck up. That's just how it's going to be. Yeah, yeah. Alright, so, uh, yeah. Catch you guys later.